11 Hybrid Creatures from Legends. But first, thanks Best Nightcore for leaving us this comment on our 10 Most Mysterious Substances video. Let us know which hybrid creature you find to be the most interesting and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 11, the Naga. The Naga is a deity that takes the form of a great snake and normally has human facial features. This is often found in Indian religions, including Buddhism and Hinduism. In the language Sanskrit, there are several words that are used to mean snake. In many cultures, the snake is often looked at as a conniving creature in mythology, but not so much in Indian culture. Sometimes they are even portrayed as protagonists. In Hinduism, they are considered to be the protectors of springs, wells, and rivers. They can also bring destruction in some cases, and are the ones to blame for floods and droughts. In Buddhist traditions, Nagas are thought to have magical powers that allow them to shapeshift into humans. In Cambodian tradition, they talk about a race of reptilians that were under the rule of King Kaliya, who possessed a huge empire. They are often portrayed at temples in Angkor Wat. Number 10, Anubis. Anubis is one of the many hybrid creatures in Egyptian mythology and was associated with the afterlife and mummification. He was normally depicted as a canine, possibly a golden jackal with the body of a man. Throughout the ages, he had many different roles in countless stories. Since the beginning of the first dynasty, he was often the protector of graves and the god associated with embalming. He was also the lord of the underworld until that role was replaced by Osiris during the Middle Kingdom. One of his most notable depictions is during the wane of the heart ceremony in the Book of the Dead. During this process, he would see what was heavier, often the pharaoh's heart or the feather of an ostrich. If the hearts were heavier than the feather, they would be devoured by a creature known as the Amet. If it was lighter, Anubis would guide them into the underworld. Number 9. Hippocampus Ever heard of the part in your brain known as the hippocampus? That's actually due to this part in your brain looking similar to a seahorse, like you can tell in this photo. In Greek, hippocampus literally means seahorse. This means the upper body of a horse and the lower body of a fish. This was first seen in the Lydian Empire when it was made into a golden statue. The Phoenician Empire also had their own depictions when it was printed on coins during the 4th century BC. The hippocampus was featured in the famous Iliad where Homer describes a horse of Poseidon, the god of the sea. In Roman culture, the god of Neptune is driven around in a chariot of hippocampi. This mythical creature made a comeback during the Renaissance when it was featured on various sculptures like the Trevi Fountain, for example. Number 8. The Griffin This legendary creature has a body, tail, and back legs of a lion, but with the wings and front legs of an eagle. This was thought to be a very regal symbol since lions are considered to be the king of beasts and the eagle the king of all birds, therefore the king of all creatures. Here in this photo, we see the Minoan version of the griffin, located in the palace room of Knossos. The exact origins of the griffin are unknown, but their roots seem to stretch back as far as 3000 BC in ancient Persian and Egyptian artwork. Its most noticeable use was during the medieval times, often featured on coats of arms for the city of Genoa, for example. They were often shown to depict military strength and courage. Number 7. The Minotaur in ancient Greek mythology, the Minotaur is depicted with the body of a man, but the head of a bull. This creature was feared by many and lived in a cave maze-like dwelling constructed by King Minos of Crete. The story goes that Minos prayed to Poseidon to send him a snow-white bull as a sign of support. Poseidon instructed him to slay the bull, but Minos found it to be too beautiful and decided to keep it as a pet. For disobeying Poseidon, Minos was punished and Poseidon made the king's wife fall in love with the white bull. The queen eventually mated with the bull and the minotaur was a hybrid offspring. Anyways, long story short, a man named Theseus bravely volunteered to slay the beast after it was devouring people and he succeeded. The myth has remained strong as it has been adapted into many different plays and even musicals. Number 6. Ganesha This hybrid mythical creature is currently one of the most well worshipped in Hindu religion. It features the head of an elephant with many limbs of a human. He is seen as the overlooker of knowledge, science, and art, an all-knowing being. Early depictions of him are seen during the 4th and 5th century AD and as the offspring of Shiva and Parvati. Festivities on the streets devoted to Ganesha can get quite elaborate as we can see from this photo. Number 5. The Centaur Centaurs are half-human, half-horse creatures originating from Greek mythology. The torso, arms, and head are all human but still have the full body of a horse. They often seem to have lustful and wild personalities and enjoy being able to roam around freely. Many are seen having some kind of warfare skill, most commonly archery, but also seen with spears. 
According to Greek legends, a group of centaurs lived on the island of Cyprus and were fathered by Zeus. These centaurs, however, were horned, unlike many that were mentioned. Female centaurs, like we see in this photo, are called centauresses. They aren't too commonly mentioned in mythology, except for the case of Hylonome, who committed suicide when her husband died in battle. Number 4. The Barak Even if you're not a follower of Islam, you gotta admit this mythical creature is pretty cool. Apparently, this sacred creature rose to heaven with the Prophet Muhammad on his back. In the Quran, it was depicted as a half mule, half donkey with wings. But it was originally introduced into the story of how he traveled from Mecca to Jerusalem and back. It varies in different stories, but some claim it was like a steed with the head of a woman and the tail of a peacock. Number 3. The Jackalope This mythical creature is often told in North American folklore as a fearsome critter. Part jackrabbit, part antelope, it gets a reputation of being quite the elusive creature, kinda like Bigfoot. Hunters seem to tell tales of jackalopes running around the forest where they're hunting. In order to trick some people into believing this legend, they often mount rabbits with deer antlers and put them on display. These stuffed and mounted jackalopes are often on display in bars and taverns across the US, especially in places where hunters are popular. Some outlandish claims are made about these seemingly harmless looking animals. One tale tells jackalopes can be so dangerous that hunters should wear some type of armor to prevent themselves from getting gored. Wyoming even made it the state mythical creature in 2005. Number 2. The Capri We all know Egypt was home to some crazy mythical creatures, but this one you might not have heard of. The god Capri was a man with the head of a scarab beetle. This beetle can often be seen in Egyptian mythology, but do exist in real life. They can be seen rolling balls of dung around that they lay their eggs into. The Egyptians thought that the scarab beetle was special since they seemingly came out of nowhere, but in reality they were just crawling out of the dung on the floor. The Egyptians couldn't really tell where they were coming from, so they found them to be divine. This made the god Capri, the god of creation, the movement of the sun, and rebirth. They believe he pushed the sun through the sky as if it was a giant ball of dung. And number 1. The Amet We mentioned this creature before in the section of Anubis, but this one certainly seems to be the darkest mythical creature in all mythology. Amet translates as soul eater or devourer and lived in the underworld, waiting for lost souls to feast on. It has the attributes of a lion, a hippopotamus, and a crocodile some of the most ravenous beasts Egyptians had contact with. The heart was a symbol of Egyptian soul and was the only organ Egyptians left inside people during the mummification process. This wasn't exactly worship as a god to the Egyptians, but mostly a feared creature that was demonic in some ways. It's often featured sitting next to scales waiting for its next meal. With the hind quarters of a hippo, the body of a wild cat, and the head of a crocodile, this certainly wasn't the hybrid you wanted to mess with. Any suggestions on future videos? Leave us your idea in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming video.